Good day, everybody out in the world. It's been a long time since I have felt like myself. And by saying felt like myself, felt like Ian Richard Rhodes, the person with infinite possibility, God's precious gift, delivered unto this world by Luella Rhodes. Not to conquer the world, but to bring it peacefully to the feet of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Um, I was always raised to be giving, giving of myself, giving to others, uh, respectful of myself, respectful of my elders, but conscious of the fact that I'm not just here as a floater or a passenger on this infinite journey of wisdom that we call life, but actually a participant, someone that was there to be a servant. Um, through my religion, which is Christianity, actual Christianity, not that weird crap you see online. Um, by Christianity, I mean someone that does unto others as they would have done unto themselves, that has given their life to Jesus Christ so that you shall not die but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life, John 3.16. Um, in that, to live a life of beauty and wonder and enjoyment and, and merriment and amazement, but to not overindulge in any one thing, to live in moderation, to share, you know, I got too much, well, I'll give to someone that has some more of something else, you know. I might have more finances, so I might give finance to someone that has more peace of mind. And that person can teach me peace of mind and they have some finance. Whatever it may be, whatever your barter system is. And sometimes it's not directly from that person. Give and ye shall receive tenfold. So if you give of yourself selflessly, and I, I found this to be true in my own life through practice, not just, I read in the books, therefore it's gotta be true, <laughs> yeah. Um, I find that the more you give, and selflessly, not like, I'm going to give you some, but I'm going to get something back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> None of that. Like, just, hey, man, here you go. Or, hey, lady, here you go. Whether you're giving your arm to a little old lady that's trying to cross the street and is having a, an issue slipping on the ice, or if you're, you know, giving a wave to a police officer that is having an absolute crap day, and maybe that one little high gives that person enough perseverance to continue on their way. Just giving. I believe in my heart and through what I've been taught, if you give of yourself or you take is a good thing. But to, to borrow or to lend, not so much, right? Because if you borrow something, you have that compulsion, okay, I've got to return this plus. And if you take some, or, and, if, and if you lend someone something, it's like, oh, I'm going to lend this to you, but there's a price. And there's so many gray areas there to get caught up on. And if you don't believe me, just look at America and Canada right now. Like, I can't speak for anywhere else. The only two places I really kind of have a feeling for is the United States and Canada. I can pretend it's about understanding about different countries, but I've never really been there. I haven't traveled enough to, to have a enough of a perspective on that to actually give my opinion because that would just be ignorance and there's two things in my life I really have a frustration with it and that's ignorance and fear and fear is generally brought on by ignorance correct in my estimations I guess what I'm doing this uh, video post about today is I am taking a life coaching class with my beautiful and lovely wife Janet Rhodes and it's been an amazing journey. Like, I have experienced things and I've done things in my life. Oh, I wish you guys could see the scenery. It's just gorgeous. But I am traveling. And if I pick up the phone and take a bunch of pictures of the scenery I'm going through, that's distracted driving. That's bleak. Anyways, uh, it's just this. I'll, I'll take pictures of it later, maybe. Um, point being, uh, in my ramblings here. I guess the point I'm trying to make, the consensus that I'm trying to bring about, the focus that I'm sharing with you is I love my wife more today than I've 
ever loved her ever. The reason for that, I appreciate myself right now in a way that I have not appreciated in a long time. My mother, Luella Rhodes, took a great amount of time teaching me, stretching my emotional boundaries, giving me the tools in order to self-regulate and self-repair through all of life's ups and downs. She, she was an amazing human being. She spent so much time that she did not have a um, single-minded individual that she was. She, she dumped so much time into her kids, playing with us, showing us love, and teaching us you know, Christian values, Wiccan values, and by Wiccan I mean um, someone that understands that the earth is put here with every single possible antidote, health remedy. The earth will provide you with any solution to any given uh, adversarial situation if you just look into it, if you understand it. There is the knowledge, there is, um, there is the... Lost for words, doesn't happen very often, but it's happening now. The world, or Gaia, or, or nature, or whatever, will provide for you, uh, but you have to spend the time to learn how. Christianity. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's how I grew up. Like I never felt alone growing up, because I was, from day one, my mom gave me the fact that there was a God in the sky, or not in the sky, there was a God out there that was the universe, and the universe was Him. And my God did not have boundaries of sex, race, religion, creed, time, nothing. There was no boundary. It was, it was infinite and absolute. Completely controlling and yet completely ambivalent at the same time. Contradiction in terms and yet completely logically, complacently perfect. And then he gave his son so that I should not die but I have everlasting life. Wow. Wow. Like, wow. And then she also taught me that all these other religions and, and beliefs and foundations all correlated in the, basically the same thing, that there is good and there is bad, and it is your choice, it is your decision on what path to follow. You know, uh, she, would, she I remember she told me about these two dogs that were always fighting within you, and, and that uh, whichever one you fed more was the one that would win. You know, every, every moment was a teaching moment with her, and she was a pretty cool chick. Still is. She's not, she's not by any means gone, nor will she be anytime soon. Um, and, you know, my father was the toughest nails, one punch a cow, work 24 hours a day, party of the weekend kind of a guy, amazing individual. And, you know, he's having some health concerns right now. And where's Lou? She's still there. She's helping. She's making sure that that he's going to make it. You know, and she's helping him get back on his feet. She's an amazing human being. And so is Stan. Stan's a great man. That's my dad, Stan Rhodes. And phenomenal fellow. Like, man, I've never met a tougher individual in my life. And, and I've never seen anyone come farther uh, from, the, from the precipice of, of masculinity to... Enlightenment, you know, the wisdom that man has gained, it's amazing, and it's just, I just really want to do a shout out to my parents, and thank them so much for all the time and energy they dumped into me and my sister and, and, and our family, and, and our family's had its ups and downs and all that other stuff, but the, abil the ability for them to let me let go of toxicity out of my life and, you know, cut loose people that don't want to be happy. And that's okay. Just thanks. So I guess today is just about learning and learning that once you love yourself and you give yourself the credit you're due, um, yeah, without being facetious about it, you uh, you really free yourself to love other people. So today is a shout out to Rhodes Wellness College uh, for all the instrumentation you've given me over the last 12, 13 lessons. Um, to my beautiful wife, Janet Brownlee, who's now Janet Rhodes, and, 
and the three amazing children that we share together, and you know, Saskatchewan itself. Everyone says, oh, it's just this horrible flat spot, and it's not, it's very diverse. Uh, the far north is very wooded and amazing, and lakes and trees, and, and nature in abundance, and then the middle part of it's kind of just like you know, oil field and, and grain belt, etc. And then the southern part is like ranch and, and gorgeous rolling hills and amazing vistas. And just, it's amazing. It's just, it's, it is a great place, and it's given me a very safe place to grow up, a very safe place to go through my youth and my middle age. Uh, into and and it, it's been a very safe platform in which to grow up. Like we have the odd fire here, we have the odd flood, but the floods are small, the fires are quick. We don't have earthquakes. There's not a lot of people shooting at you unless you're doing shit you really shouldn't be doing. You know, it's a fairly it's a fairly decent spot to grow up and live. And uh, I just want to thank. I'm thankful. I'm just very thankful for everything that I've learned and everything that I've gone through to brought me to today. And uh, so this is my this is my moment, just you know, putting it back out there. And, and I'm gonna try to do one of these a week and uh, to see where this goes. So thank you very much, everybody. Really appreciate your time. And uh, have a great day.